Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Cladisms video. And this one is a crazy one. This is a once in a lifetime weekend that we're experiencing in Destiny 2, where there is a ridiculous bug that a lot of you probably already have seen, uh, where you can put any weapons frame on another weapon. As long as it's a crafted weapon, you could craft it with another weapons frame. So as you can see, this auto rifle and linear both say aggressive frame when they're both uh, rapid fire frame and the other one here i think also rapid fire oh this is also aggressive but this is uh, actually an aggressive shotgun frame on this linear and same for this auto rifle you can also do stuff like switching weapons perks to another weapon but i'm not really too concerned with that right now i just wanted to show you guys how ridiculous this is um i have a simple build going uh there's not too much to see here i guess i could click this to show you but uh, i just have one arc weapon surge going on and orbs of restoration as well as, well as recuperation Honestly, the mods don't matter at all. I'm running the stag for just a little bit of extra survivability in my Well of Radiance when I pop a rift inside of it. Uh, but let's just get into a GM here. I'm going to do just a live commentary. It's been a while since we've done one of these, so I can just talk to you guys while we're playing. There's also a uh, linear burn and an arc burn on this uh, Nightfall, so there's going to be extra damage coming in from our weapons. Also, I did put uh, triple tab and demo on this. It seemed like a pretty good pair. Also, I've been a ton of kills on this weapon. <laughs> I've been using this little bug a lot lately just to run through GMs and get a bunch of loot. Uh, it is double loot weekend, and it's the first weekend of Warden's Law. I still haven't got a good one, so maybe with this uh, recording we will get one. But if we jump in, you'll see right away. My reticle is different. I've got the shotgun reticle. And, well, I'm shooting a lot more bullets than you normally would with this auto rifle. Now, I chose this weapon because of uh, land tank primarily. I also wanted demo. Um, just because it gives me a lot more survivability. Uh, I know a lot of people are using the Amets, but honestly, the uh, the base stats on this weapon I feel are a lot better. Where you can get uh, a lot higher reload speed to keep your weapon going a little bit longer. Um, but it's not really, it doesn't really matter. You've got a god tier weapon no matter what you do. Um, however, Amit could be good if you're doing like a rest of times 2 build. Maybe if you're trying to do like a solo flawless of something. I could see how rest of times 2 would be nice. For that situation but uh for our purposes today this is gonna be just fine just running through this gm with this uh laser beam it's gonna absolutely destroy every type of enemy um and we are running well of radiance just for panic moments which is fine honestly you could run arc on this and it would be insane but it doesn't matter too much you're gonna be doing so much damage just with your primary and obviously this isn't uh this is kind of like cheating, basically. I mean, it's a it's an exploit in the game. You're not using any external tools or anything to uh, to, to accomplish this. But obviously, it's not uh, not the way the game's supposed to be played. So, don't think I'm showcasing a ton of skill here by doing this. Although I have done this GM a few days ago before this exploit was discovered solo. Uh, it took me about an hour with the Wish Ender, and uh, just, I think I was using Fusion for Unstop. So uh, we're probably going to get this one done in, if I had to guess, a third of the time, probably like 20 minutes to get this taken care of. But as you can see, these enemies that are really tanky are just falling over to my insane shotgun auto rifle. I am going to double up this rift to get some resist here, because we're just going to try to face tank all this damage. I am looking for that uh, that explosive shank. He walks up as well. I'm done for. Uh, but as you can see, I can just delete any enemy in front of me. I, I'm getting my well incredibly quickly because we're doing so much damage. Super regen is tied to... Oh, that almost killed me. It's tied to damage. So if you can see, I'll pop my well here again in a second. Um, just watch my super meter for a moment. Just watch it go up while we're killing enemies and dealing damage. Yeah, as you can see, we're already up to a half. We find a tanky enemy and we're going to be pretty much full. I'm not worried about any of these GM enemies just because I can kill them faster than they can, they can kill me, basically. That's the only reason I'm staying alive in this well, because I can clean up all these tanky enemies before they, uh, before they can stack up on me. But uh, whenever there's a big spawn like this, I'll just throw down another uh, little rift to get my resist going. As you can see, we're just face tanking with uh, very little uh, resistance. Our health will get a little low on occasion when a sniper bullet lands or maybe a server to blast. As long as we're strafing back and forth, we should be able to tank this. So since I'm in a well, I can shoot through these uh, servitor shields, which is lovely. 
Um, I haven't shown you the linear yet, but we're gonna use that in just a moment to delete this boss. Just need to make sure I'm watching. Yep, when my well runs out so we don't just die. We're going to put another one down over here, just a little bit closer. The uh, These weapons do have damage fall off because they are technically shotguns. So depending on how close I am, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more damage. So since we're here, <laughs> let's just shoot our insane linear. And just delete that guy. How about this guy too? Yep. Yeah. That's a GM barrier. Just deleted in one second. So it took us four minutes to clear this room solo in a GM. Um, I'm sure you guys can tell just quite how powerful this is. Barely broke a sweat clearing that room. Um, when as a solo player, that probably would have taken 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure it did take 20 minutes. Uh, with just a wish enter, you know what I mean? So... This, uh, this gun's a little, little broken. And we can just keep on killing everything without a worry. This reminds me kind of like the, uh, the old Titan build, where you'd have infinite freaking thunder, roaming thunder grenades. And I did a lot of solo GMs that season, just because it made the game so much faster for solo GMs, because you've got all these super tanky enemies, and they're all just falling over instantly. And this kind of feels very similar, but instead of it being an ability this time, it's a weapon. Um, and obviously we're not jolting like that would. Let's still keep on running through here. We, you see we have a lot of champs. Let's pull out a learning here, and probably oh, didn't kill in that time. All good. We just shoot through a shield with our barrier auto rifle. And we might be able to one-tap this guy, yep, yeah, and this guy, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's obviously a ton of fun. This is a... This is something that's going to be happening just for one weekend out of the, you know, the entire history of Destiny, I imagine. So, might as well have a little bit of fun with it while it lasts. And honestly, let's uh, let's talk about this a little bit. I was watching a streamer earlier, I was watching Fallout Plays. I like to watch him whenever there's uh, some crazy stuff going on. And he was uh, chatting with another friend of his, and they were talking about how this uh, this weekend is incredibly awful for PvP players because you've got. Uh, People in trials, and every single person is running like an Amit or some some variants of broken weapon, and you're just getting killed instantly wherever you go. And there's a lot of uh, arguments in the chat talking about how this is like the worst week ever, like uh, this ruined people's like weekends or whatever because people have been waiting, I guess, a few weeks to get the uh, the weapon that's offered this week to kill here by this barrier. Yeah, a lot of people were upset with how this uh, bug is playing out in the PvP side of the game. And I understand that, obviously. But at the same time, you know, if if this if this bug is, like, really annoying to you, just, just step away from the game, honestly. Like, Bungie already said they're going to bring that Trials weapon back soon. So it's not even like you're going to be missing out on too much if you just skip this week. And honestly, if you're if you're ever playing a game and you're just not having a good time, just just get off the game. Like you, you don't need to play. You don't have to be there for whatever FOMO they're trying to put on you. Just just log off. If you if you hate this bug and you think it's ruining your weekend, just, just don't play this weekend. That's, that's that's my advice. But obviously, I'm a PVE player, and this doesn't affect PVE players in a very negative way. I know there's a lot of people that are. Upsetty Spaghetti that certain triumphs are going to be a lot easier and it kind of delegitimizes previous triumphs. Like, let's say a solo, solo Flawless Dungeon is obviously much, much easier to accomplish because you don't have to worry about the DPS checks at all. You'll instantly kill whatever boss it is that you're doing. Um, so all you have to really worry about is survivability, which is easily done with an Amit and Resto Times 2, which will pretty much be up for Amit by here. If he would have hit us twice while we were, while we were midair, we would have been done for. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are upset. Like, you know, my my solo flawless emblem is a lot less valuable because anybody can get it, right? As long as they know how to survive, anyone can easily get a solo flawless. And you know, at the same time, I I understand that sentiment. I understand people liking their uh, exclusiveness tied to their emblems. But uh, you know, just. <laughs> doesn't matter honestly like you don't don't care so much about what other people are doing and just kind of you know set set goals for yourself 
and if somebody else is cheating to get their goal, you know, that's that's on them. That's not something that uh, should really bother you too much. Just uh, just let them take their their ill-gotten gains and uh, move on. With it. You know, it's kind of lame for a lot of people to hear. Uh, myself included, you know, I tried really hard to get flawless uh, Spire the Watcher. It took me forever, like five damage phases per boss, just because they have insane health gates. That uh, and there's no like solo balancing on. How much uh, health something has you know i don't care if somebody goes and, and get it and you shouldn't either it really doesn't matter set goals for yourself not goals for others it's not that important it's not that serious i know a lot of people uh a lot of people care about that. it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it it's a bug in the game Bungie's working on fixing it and you know it is what it is nothing can be done if you're not enjoying the bug don't play with it if you are go nuts you know Bungie said they're uh they're not going to be banning anybody because it is an exploit, not a not a cheat. Oh, so, you know, go go wild. And uh, yeah, we're ten minutes into this GM. We're already probably about I would say like sixty percent of the way through. There's a lot of netcode stuff you might be noticing that's happening in the background. Where uh, like I just broke that little that little polar guy and it repolled me, just because with all of the data that's happening at once here, you see like I. And instances of a bullet going off at once. And the game quite can't quite handle that. It's not expected to handle that. Uh, so there's a lot of oddities that will happen. Like barriers will heal if you don't keep constantly damaging them. If you're using like a, a trace rifle version of this glitch, it will uh, the damage won't register because you're technically shooting like however many bullets that is right there. Like is that six, seven, seven bullets all at once, and as a linear with a thousand RPM linear trace. 1000 RPM, obviously the game is going to have a really hard time calculating that many projectiles happening at once. Uh, so there's a lot of silly things, like this barrier is not breaking. His health bar on the barrier is broken. Yeah, there's a lot of silly stuff that's happening with uh, this many instances of things happening when they shouldn't be. So you can see we can just delete all these things, no problem. And like I said earlier, if I was closer to these guys, I'd be doing so much more damage with my It's funny to see so many people using this linear because this thing, honestly, you never see it. And uh, <laughs> now you see it all the time when people are running these bugs. I know there's uh, a couple GLs that everybody's running and like running through raids super quickly, one phasing absolutely everything without a problem. Yeah, it's definitely uh, an interesting weekend. People that care about like raid reports are probably going to be really upset because in uh, duo or solo, a lot of the stuff they produce. Had some time. Like I know Nezarek was one of the most mechanically difficult fights to solo because you had to balance so many things and the DPS was really really tight. Uh, but now obviously so many more people are going to do this bug and cheat to get their their brave report. So, you know, that's that's an unintended consequence of all this stuff is that there's irrevocably going to be some some leaderboards that are set. That probably shouldn't have been, and there's no way that Bungie's going to be able to remove those leaderboards unless they do a, a rollback, which they have not indicated that they're going to be doing. So, yeah, that's a uh, that's a bit awkward for sure. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm not the kind of person who goes for solo duo trio that stuff on raid report, so I'm not really the person who should be talking about that. That's the uh, pros you want to talk with. So for this, this is my trick. I just aim up, and I just double jump, and I never die if I do it that way. Uh, so maybe you could use that in your GM runs if you're ever doing this GM in a later time. Um, but here we're going to drop this ball so we can kill these Acolytes. I guess we can get back to the gameplay and not the discussion around this bug. Um, but as you can see, uh, I'm, uh, I'm killing everything. There's no problems here. I'm using my rift occasionally. Like these enemies are still dangerous. If I were to just run at them, they would obviously kill me. Um, but since I'm playing a little bit cautiously and using my wells and rifts when I need to, I can kind of get away with uh, playing the way I am and not dying. And hopefully, we can get the two beam break here. If possible, maybe. Oh, nice. Cool. Saves us a little bit of time. Also, another way, if you're trying to solo this uh, dungeon while this bug is a thing, strike. what you can do is just wait out the 
timer that you would have seen where it says like Wrathborn people coming. If you just sit up here and wait that out, after a minute a barrier will open this door up for you. And as long as you kill the barrier you can proceed, it'll de despawn the rest of the enemies and whatnot. But you won't get that heavy crate if you wait that out, but just keep that in mind. Uh, so we're 13 minutes 40 seconds and we are to the final boss on a solo jam, which is ridiculous, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and start up this boss fight and see how quickly we can do this. This is actually going to be the harder part of this because we're not really relying on damage. We're relying on staying alive. It's not not super easy to live in this area with all these wizards and you might just want to pop a well for that if you're a warlock. So a better YouTuber would probably hide that they died here, but I'm not a better YouTuber. So what we're going to do is just run up here and do it again. Uh, I did just die to some wizards, and uh, that's something that can happen. Honestly, when you feel like you're a god with these uh, overpowered weapons, you uh, you think you're invincible, but you certainly are not. So we're going to play a little bit safer this time. Making sure to take down the shanks, of course, and then we're just going to stay up here until all of the wizards and everything else is done with. Um, so with the stag, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't use the stag too often in this kind of context, but I'm pretty sure the stag does give your rift more health, so you won't be seeing your, uh, your well of radiance dying too often. You probably would if you weren't running the stag. Um, so our well did die, so we're just going to drop another one, because we'll get it right back. And we're just going to keep clearing out these acolytes. These acolytes are actually very dangerous, because of their solar grenades, and there is a solar burn on this, uh, version of Ball. So they are super, super dangerous, and if you leave them up and they throw a grenade straight on your rift or your well, you uh, you might be toast. Unintended. Uh, so let's just keep on clearing. We're almost done with all of the pads here, and we can actually depart this spot and head over to our little corner. Just make sure to take out all the curse thrall, all the acolytes throwing grenades at you. And I'm just going to do a little three peek here, make sure, yep, there's no thrall too close to me. Take out the last few wizards and then and, uh, run our first ball up there. Like I said, yeah, this is the most dangerous section of this as a solo player. Just because you kind of got to risk, risk it all every time you want to dunk one of these charges. And as soon as you dunk, it's going to spawn a ton more wizards, acolytes, and all these guys are going to permanently spawn in these dark charge boys. So yeah, be careful when you're dunking because uh, if you're heading to this corner, always clear out this corner first. Uh, make sure you clear out all the acolytes and or wizards that will spawn. And if it is wizards spawning there, it'll either be one or all three will spawn right on top of each other in that corner. And it's very scary when that happens. As you can see in my previous attempt, just instantly fell over even though I was uh, taking well healing at the time of that. So that's all the wizards down, which makes me feel... Actually, was that three or was that two wizards? I feel like that was two. Uh, but that makes me feel pretty confident that I can come up here and dunk this. I was taking a few shots there, but not enough to worry me. I did have a healing grenade on uh, on cooldown, so I could have healed myself. It got a little bit more uh, more scary there. Just keep on doing this like normal. A little weak, so I'm just going to drop my rift out of cautionary measures. Make sure we take down all the wizards. I think that's number two, so there should still be one more wizard somewhere. But I'm going to risk it again, because I want to go a little bit quicker this time. Just gonna run up here again as soon as you dunk more ads are gonna spawn and hopefully you don't get wizards in this corner if you do just try to kill them instantly or just rift or, well if you have it uh, right where you dunked that'll be the safest way to deal with it um, i was doing this uh with my buddy and arc warlock is really really nice here because you can pretty much have 100 percent uptime on healing rifts in this little corner as long as you're using the uh Conductor helmet, I don't remember the name of it, but you know, the big spiky one that came out pretty recently. If you're running that and just constantly spamming your arc nades, uh, you'll have rifts. Okay, so that was all the wizards I believe, so I'm just gonna kill this guy for extra safety, and we can dunk one more. And then we just need to deal with one more wave of adds before we can dunk the final. Throw this over here in case there's a wizard. If not, I'm gonna be really lucky on the spawns this time. Dunk the rift down. There's one wizard. He's hiding a little bit. Third one in the middle. Perfect. Most of the acolytes are dead. There's another wizard. Okay, so there's probably still one more out. Hey. I don't see him. Okay, well, we can try to get our last dunk in here. 
And when you dunk this, uh, you're the wizard of me. Nope. Uh, when you dunk this, you can do one of two things. You can just drop the well here. I'll try it. Uh, but honestly, I think it's way safer to just go back to the corner when you do this. Because you can easily die up here if you to be uh, on you at once. Um, but we did kill it. Super easy. Just two shots with our broken linear. Just make sure to tap this barrier before he despawns. Uh, but yeah, that's a GM done in... Is that 17 minutes? Something like that? Waiting for all the pop-ups to go away. Uh, 18 minutes on the dot. That is uh, pretty ridiculous, obviously. And in this run, I did wait out the, uh, the timer because I did not get the double break on the locks. Uh, but that is the uh, the soon-to-be infamous bug, that Plague Destiny 2, on the weekend of September 15th of 2023. It was a super silly bug, um, but we get to reap the rewards of it here where we got some Warden's Law. Let's see if we got the fourth time's Vorpal roll. No, that is what I want. I really, 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 really want four tenths Vorpal for my uh, Lucky Pants build because apparently that's uh, that is the best roll you can get on this for a Lucky Pants hunter, which is uh, what I'm looking for. Uh, but that's the bug breakdown in a quick little run. Hopefully you guys uh, found the video enjoyable. I know this is a turbulent time for a lot of Destiny fans. There's a lot of division in the community whether this is a good or a bad thing that happened to the scene. For me personally, I like a little bit of silliness. So a harmless little bug like this in my case a harmless bug like this is just a fun little weekend that you can have a little bit of silly shenanigans with i know a lot of people are going to be upset that a lot of the accolades and whatnot are kind of delegitimized because of this let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments but uh thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later Bye bye